then they'll refine the problem they'll consider all the current conditions and what they want to really achieve like what is the kind of people local people staying over there what kind of industries or what kind of other townships are already present in that area so that is to be discussed so we have to check for the current conditions over there and then from that what we want to really achieve because finally when you're solving a problem it should be successful also then you have to check some constraint while solving the problem or while building the township what are the constraints what are the limitations and from all those limitations and the financial conditions infrastructure available we have to take out some feasible solution then we'll scope the problem here we think about key after developing that township what we can do further what will be use of that township what we kind of people can come and store there so if any other way we can develop this township is any other thing we want to have as a sub part of that township so all these other parts of the main problem will be discussed so these are the steps it has to go through to really state the exact problem that is what we'll be doing so after all the analysis is done we reach the stage of final problem definition so at this stage will they will really have a big document where they'll put all the things they are going to really do is firstly it's just started with township with park and township with some 20 buildings and some swimming pool but then they have planned for all the other things also small small infrastructure small small things to be developed small things required how those small things will be solved all this they will put into a plan like what really they want to do so that is a complete problem definition every details should be clearly stated every part should be clearly stated what should be goal of each part is clearly stated then the goals obviously here we decide the exact goals to be achieved like for how much area you want to give a township how much profit you want to earn from that using that township further what you want to do further taking help of that township you want to develop your own business so these goals will be stated and then one more thing we have to think that is think about the side effects of solving the problem for example in our infrastructure development there can be pollution problem there can be effects on environment these also should be thought about so this what we discussed right now are all the points as you mean there are big problems to be solved so any smallest problem to be solved also we actually think about what is the really problem is what are the inputs given what are the different current solutions possible what solution i can apply for this all these aspects we first think and then we really start solving any problem if it's a really complex and big problem it can be a mathematical problem it can be writing a big program or can be writing or developing a new software for that also we have to go through all these steps so that is a complete problem definition is thank you